The Cowboys reportedly offered Ezekiel Elliott a deal that would make him the second highest paid running back in the NFL. That's not what Ezekiel Elliott wants. He wants to be the highest paid running back in the NFL. So he wants more than what Todd Gurley got, which reportedly was $45 million guaranteed. The Cowboys are just going to have to pay Ezekiel Elliott this money. They're going to have to make him the highest paid running back in the NFL. If they choose not to do that, I don't see Ezekiel Elliott coming back to the team. He wants to be paid that money, and quite frankly, he deserves to be paid that money. He deserves to be paid more than $45 million. He deserves to get more money than what Todd Gurley got. He is the most viable player for the Dallas Cowboys. Without him, I don't think the Cowboys are going to make it to the playoffs. I just don't see it happening. And not only that, there's all this talk about them being Super Bowl contenders. Without Zeke, that's not happening. They need Zeke. He is their most valuable player. They've got to pay him. He has proven his worth. He rushed for what, over 1,400 yards? He's catching passes? This man is outperforming his contract. He's showing you what he's worth. And when players outperform their current deals, they deserve a new one. Oftentimes, when players underperform, these owners either release them or they ask them to restructure their deals. So if these owners are willing to cut players who underperform, they should be willing to pay players when they outperform their deals. They should pay players when they overperform. It's only fair. So Jerry Jones is going to have to reach into his pockets and pay Ezekiel this money. He wants more than Todd Gurley money. He should get it. So maybe if they pay him, if they give him a contract that guarantees him about $48 million a year, I think Ezekiel Elliott will be okay with that. But to make him the second highest paid running back, no, that's not good enough. He wants more than that, and he deserves more than that. He deserves more than what Todd Gurley got because he is so viable to the Cowboys and he's durable. He doesn't miss games other than, this, other than the suspension he had. He's been durable. He's healthy. He's shown you what he can do on the field. So they've got to pay this man. I don't see him settling at all. And I don't believe he should settle. He deserves that money. He deserves to be poor, paid more than Todd Gurley. He just does. And hopefully the Cowboys will do the right thing and they'll compensate him for his contributions to the team. Without him, I don't see them winning too many games. They may go, I'll say they'll go, I'll give them seven and nine. Without Ezekiel Elliott, they'll probably go seven and nine. I'll, I'll give them that. But with him there, they are a legitimate Super Bowl contender. They've got Dak Prescott, so they've got their quarterback. They've got Amari Cooper, so they've got their wide receiver. Now they have to have Zeke on the field. They've got to have that franchise quarterback. I mean, excuse me, their franchise running back. They need him. Without him, their playoff chances are just going to dwindle, 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 dwindle. In fact, not even dwindle, I say non-existent. Without him, I don't see them making the playoffs. So we'll just have to wait and see what they do. And hopefully to do the right thing, though, and pay this man his money. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Just press the subscribe button below this video. Also, click on the notification bell, too. That way, when I put out new content, you won't miss out on any of it. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed day wonderful day.